the aftermath of a deadly attack in Tunisia, the third major attack in the country this year, prompting another state of emergency and curfew in the North African nation. After consulting with the Prime Minister and the Head of Parliament, I would like to declare a state of emergency extending for 30 days as per the law. Secondly, there is an imposed curfew across all of Tunisia starting from 9 this evening until tomorrow at 5 in the morning. The other two major attacks were on tourist hotspots. This one was different, prompting concerns that terrorists in the country are changing tactics. The terrorist attack that took place was of a different kind. It had two main elements that I must emphasize. Firstly, this attack targeted one of the symbols of the state, namely the presidential guard which is required to protect the presidential institution, parliament and the government's headquarters, the president and the head of the people's assembly and the prime minister. Their aim is to shake one of the country's main pillars. That's clear. Tunisians in the capital say they will not bow down to terrorism, though. This is life. We should resist and keep going with our lives. If we stay in our homes and say that we are scared and we won't go out, how can we fight terrorism? If we did that, terrorism would go further in our country. Tuesday's attack saw a suicide bomber target a bus carrying presidential security guards. More than a dozen people died. Security forces have since been carrying out mass arrests. Around 2,000 people have been taken into custody, and dozens of alleged jihadist cells have been dismantled. Maria Galang, CCTV.